Pakistani Hindu teacher sentenced to life in prison for blasphemy. On February 8th, uh, Nautan Lal, a Hindu college teacher in the Sindh province of southern Pakistan, received a life sentence for blasphemy. The court order also included a fine of 50,000 rupees or close to $300 USD. He has been in jail for more than two years since arrest, his arrest in September 2019 after his request for bail was denied twice. A video of a secondary level student claiming that he saw the teacher commit blasphemy against the Prophet Muhammad had gone viral. After watching the video, Jamaat, uh, Jamaat e uh, al Sunat, a Muslim religious organization in Pakistan, and Mufti Abdul Karim, a local cleric, filed a report against him. Local Muslim groups pressured the court to impose a life sentence for Lal. Lal's cousin told Radio Free Europe that other than the one student's claims, there was no other eyewitness account. It's what? So you could just settle scores or just like, hey, you got a bad grade. You could just accuse your teacher of blasphemy and that's about it. And then they're getting sentenced to life in prison. They, they no, Okay, it's ridiculous. That we're even We've been knowing this, this Armin. Yes. I I refuse not to get shocked by this. Okay, people are like, oh, this is Pakistan. Why are you shocked? I will be shocked every every goddamn time. You just a, a student can just come and be like, oh, I saw him do blasphemy, and now he's sentenced like with nothing else, and now he's sentenced to prison. You know, the the levi, the levels of absurdity is crazy because us like we're atheists, okay, and we're very much against blasphemy laws. But even us, we're like looking at like where's the evidence? As if if it, as if there was like. This is the new standard that we like that even us are like be, getting being forced to submit to because when every time we're like oh he's like for in jail for no with no evidence for blasphemy we're all we're almost suggesting as if if there was evidence for blasphemy like th this would be better okay yeah like as, point. yeah but i mean but we cannot not i mean it's ridiculous that we're even looking for evidence but it is more absurd that no evidence is needed. Like I don't, I don't think like where it's too outrageous for us to be like point out that there is no evidence. Like you could just randomly come and be like, like every single hand, every single non-Muslim in Pakistan, every single non-Sunni Muslim in Pakistan is just a sitting duck, just waiting for an accusation. You're, you're, you could be eliminated by any random Sunni man just by being like, I saw him do blasphemy, okay? You better not lend anybody any money. If you're a goddamn teacher, you better give everybody A's or whatever they give in Pakistan. Just make sure you're, like, submit to everybody and every time at all time and you're 100% polite and make sure you don't look at anybody the wrong way. Make sure you don't piss off anybody because all they have to do is be like, I saw him do blasphemy and your entire life is ruined. This guy got sentenced. Like he went through the process. Like it's now like this is official. He's got sentenced. But yeah, there, there's still the opportunity for appeal. And so his legal oh, counsel great. is going to try to appeal it, but he still received the sentence. Unbelievable. So even if you don't get the sentence, by the way, guys, let me tell you, even if you don't get sentenced, okay, so way be before the level of this guy, your life is still ruined if you get the accusation, right? Let's say, for example, they will come arrest you. They will, everything in your life would get be on a pause, okay? And even if you don't get a sentence, there will be mobs always believing that you did blasphemy, okay? It will get covered in the news. People know where you live. It's it's you you live in hell. Pakistan is like hell now. It's like the closest thing to hell. Is you're you're under complete constant stress. And for people who might say like, why would they just leave? Leave where? Like you guys, like people who are Americans or Europeans or Canadians, they they, they have these passports that lets them go anywhere they want, and they don't understand that the rest of the world doesn't have that option. Okay, the rest of the world doesn't have the mobility that you have with your first world passports okay so it's not like that they can't just leave they can't just go and live like oh i'm gonna live in this country now it's not that it's impossible for most people to just go leave and go to to another country and just stay there it's impossible 
Um, anyway, sorry. Yeah, I want to read a little bit more information from uh, the Hindustan Times saying, um, so what's interesting is he actually owns this college that uh, he worked at. And so the student made this claim and then um, it this got to the local Islamic clerics and then they filed a, a police report. And then after the, as the news spread, a protest erupted in the town and a violent mob attacked the Satro Satram Dam uh, temple and damaged its idol, idols in uh, Gokti. Gok, Gok, Gok um, the caretaker of the Satro Satram temple, Jai Kumar, later said that around 50 masked men had attacked the temple, but some 500 Muslims later came and guarded the temple the whole night. Um, and I just think this is so crazy that there is basically no evidence um, against him and that they denied him bail so many times besides just like this one student's claim. And then the... Um, it just went viral. Um, but the authorities were under such pressure from the uh, Muslim community surrounding them that they basically had no other choice. In many ways, it may have been a more responsible thing to do to take him in, given the pressure from the community and the fact that they attacked the temple. They might have gone in to just go attack and kill him instead. Unfortunately. Is it just me or is Armin frozen? Wait, let me check. Oh, wait a minute. He's coming. Hello? Connection is bad today, sorry. Am I oh, here? wait, we accidentally talk off your screen share. Yeah, I'll bring it back. Okay, thank you. Um. One thing else that I learned today was, as I said, this happened in Sindh province. And um, we, a lot of times when we're talking about these kinds of news stories that come out of Pakistan, particularly in regards to violence against minorities and um, forced conversions of uh, minority community girls, they're almost always happening in Sindh province. And I kind of like had a hard time figuring out why that was. Well, I learned today that the majority of Pakistan's Hindu minority actually um, reside in Sindh. So I was like, oh, that makes so much more sense why we get so much news about the religious violence coming out of this province since this is where so much of the religious minority um, is centered. Oh no, he's frozen again. Oh my goodness. Hello? You just keep speaking. I'm figuring. I'm, don't worry about me. Just speak, just keep speaking. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. About sorry. It's, it's uh, distracting. I'll try. Um, but uh, yes, that was the end of my commentary on this news. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? No. Sorry about the technical issues. I've had, um, I had connection issues, but I think it should be fixed now. In case every time I get disconnected like this, just like don't just... Act like nothing is happening because, like, there's nothing I try. I can do it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, anything in the live chat you want to highlight before we go to the next news? Ghost Bunny is very pleased that for a second there were two Armands. <laughs> Thank you, Ghost Bunny. That's very sweet. I appreciate that. <laughs> Ghost Bunny is saying, I think Poochie is chewing on the wires. <laughs> <laughs> Like my dog is chewing on the Wi-Fi cable. Oh, actually, they sometimes do that. Good. Uh, this is why. This is why they can't be here when we go live in there. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Abadi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.